Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're diving into MEXC futures, the derivatives arm of MEXC, one of the global crypto exchanges that offers over 1,200 perpetual contracts, ultra high leverage, up to 500 times on select pairs, and very deep liquidity. If you're brand new, you'll find the official MEXC link right below in the description. It automatically applies the latest welcome bonuses, so you can start trading with access to special rewards hub perks and futures bonuses right away. Before we step into the interface, here's a quick refresher. A perpetual contract mirrors the price of an underlying asset, but never expires. You can open a long position if you expect the price to rise, or go short if you expect it to fall. And since you're trading contracts instead of the actual coins, you can set your leverage from one times all the way up to the maximum available for your chosen pair. On MEXC's USDT margined perpetuals, profits and losses are settled directly in USDT, which is pegged to the real US dollar. All right, let's jump straight into the MEXC futures interface. I'm guessing you already know how to create an account, deposit funds, and navigate the basics. But if not, don't worry. You'll find full step-by-step -step guides right here on my channel. Okay, open the futures section from the main menu and choose USDTM futures. The interface is very intuitive. The market selector and chart are in the center. The order book and recent trades sit on the right and your open positions and trade history appear below. The order panel makes it simple to place limit or market orders and entering your position size is very straightforward. Right above the order panel, you'll see the margin mode selector. Cross margin uses your entire USDT balance to support all your open trades, while isolated margin limits the risk to just that single position. If you're a beginner, always start with isolated mode. Next to it is the leverage slider. You can adjust it manually or type the exact leverage you want, anywhere from a low risk one times to the maximum available on that trading pair. Let's talk quickly about how leverage works. For example, if you have $100 and select 20 times leverage, you'll be able to trade with $2,000. That means you can open a long position worth $2,000, basically as if you bought that amount of the asset. If the price moves up just 5%, that's a 100% profit on your original $100 but higher leverage also means higher risk. If the price drops 5%, you'll lose the full $100. And on MEXC, liquidation often happens even earlier because the platform automatically closes the position to protect your remaining margin. So whenever you're using leverage, always open the liquidation calculator built into MEXC futures. Enter your entry price, margin mode, and leverage then hit Calculate. You'll instantly see your liquidation level. The higher the leverage, the closer that level becomes. Watch what happens when you lower your leverage. The liquidation price moves farther away, giving your trade more breathing room. This is why it's important to always know your liquidation price and place your stop loss above it. If you get liquidated, your margin disappears instantly. I know this may sound complicated, but once you start practicing, it becomes much easier. The best approach is to begin with a very small amount you're comfortable risking. Or even better, turn on the MEXC demo trading mode. It's completely risk-free, perfect for beginners, and lets you learn the interface without using real money. Let's make a quick example. Say you're bullish on Ethereum. Open the ETH slash USDT perpetual. Choose limit order, Set your entry slightly below the current market price and choose your size, maybe $100. Check the liquidation price. If it's too close, lower your leverage and keep your margin mode on isolated. If you're new, I don't recommend going above three times. Add a stop loss a few percent under your entry, but still above liquidation, and click Buy Long. Confirm your settings and the order will appear under Open Orders. Once filled, it moves to Positions, where you'll see your entry price, PNL, margin, 
and real-time funding payments. If you forgot to set Take Profit or Stop Loss, just open your position and click TP slash SL to add them later. MEXC keeps them as conditional orders, so they'll trigger even if you're offline. You'll also see the funding rate countdown above the order book. If longs are dominant, they pay shorts at the next interval. And if shorts are dominant, they pay longs. It's a small but important detail, especially if you plan to keep your position open for several hours or days. Closing your position is simple. You can close instantly with market or choose a limit close for lower fees and possibly a better exit price. Always remember that fees apply both when opening and closing your trade and high leverage amplifies their impact. Using limit orders whenever possible helps reduce your trading costs on MEXC. And if you still don't fully understand how futures traders actually make money or how to control your risk, don't worry, I'll walk you through a simple example next. For example, Bitcoin costs $100,000 and you have only $100. And for example, you take 125 leverage. So you buy Bitcoins for $12,500. Then Bitcoin rose to $125,000. You close the deal and you get $3,125 in profit. That's really cool. But there is one thing. If this price drops to $99,200, you will lose your $100. So it's very risky to trade here. You can minimize the risks by setting stop loses and take profits. You set a stop lose value to prevent the loss of all your money. Like if the price drops to $99,850, you will lose only $20 instead of $100 and you will be able to continue trading. Take profit is the price when the order closes automatically. You need this so you don't miss out on a good closing price. And so guys, don't forget to use the link from the description to activate the promo offer and good luck. See you in the new videos.